Okay, thank you. My name is Ilse Marschelek. I'm from the Center for Social Innovation in Vienna, Austria. I'm here together with my colleagues. They were named already, and we are going to present uh, some activities of the Austrian and the Slovenian hub, so in Austria, our neighboring country. And we at the Center for Social Innovation, we are also engaged in the topic of RI without knowing it, uh, because we know for more than 25 years now, uh, as the center was established, that of course all technical innovations are socially relevant. So uh, we always studied uh, both the social innovation and the technical innovation. So I'm going to introduce some Austrian activities and then I'll ask my colleague uh, to tell you something about the Slovenian situation and then uh, Katarina will tell about some trends in Austria and Slovenia. So to the hub in Austria. Uh, we selected a few best practice examples uh, which we collected during our stakeholder consultation activities and we also try to have some different kinds of RI activities. The first one is an organization uh, which was built by different research organizations in Austria. It's called Platform uh, for Research and Technology Policy Evaluation, FDEVAL. It's um, a platform to encourage evaluation uh, but for really optimal strategic research policy planning. So uh, outcome or main mission, mission is policy recommendations, but also exchange on uh, state-of-the-art evaluation methodologies and exchange on evaluation. So of course this platform is now uh, engaged in how to evaluate RI and its activities and also uh, methodologies. And they have many offers and services you see on the slide. Uh, they also publish uh, periodically uh, three or four times a year. Uh, and what is also worth saying, uh, they have a very interesting um, organizational structure and a rotating CEO. So every two years, the CEO of this organization will change like EU presidency and gives another governance to the organization as well. The next one is a program, and this is financed by the Austrian Ministry of Science. They really took much money for the last years, for more than five years now, to establish a very innovative program um, that brings together research institutions and schools, school students. And this is not only citizen science where researchers ask students to collect data for them. This is really collaborative work with students and researchers carrying out state-of-the-art research. So it's not like playing research, it's real uh, research projects uh, collaboratively <laughs> carried out together. And the last one I would like to, to introduce to you, many of you know already, it's the Nano Opinion Project, and we at the Center for Social Innovation were the coordinators of this project. Maybe it's weird uh, uh, to tell you uh, this situation, but it was really nominated from many si sites as being a best practice example because what Na Nano Opinion did was a really huge outreach um, uh, campaign and activities on the very difficult topic of nanotechnologies. So we, we know that only few people know about nanotechnologies, so we really applied very innovative methods, as we heard before, to go out uh, where people are and speak with them in their understandable language about this so difficult topic. So uh, you can visit our website and find out more on our opinion. Finally, we could engage more than 50,000 people in the streets and discuss nanotechnologies. So thank you, would now like to hand over to our Austrian hub and Goras, uh, Slovenian hub, sorry, and Goras Weiss. Uh, thank you, Ilza. Oops, I will just, yeah. Um, in Slovenia, um, the RI project related activities are carried out uh, together by ZSI and uh, uh, hub member from Slovenia, which is a Slovenian research agency. It's a, a public body which founds all the, the research, national based research in Slovenia. And um, uh, together with Slovenian Research Agency, we are trying to to organize uh, a lot 
different type of events for different stakeholders uh, uh, in the form of workshops, uh, also info days, uh, and um, also to assure the dissemination activities and uh, engagement of stakeholders. So in Slovenia, we have uh, two, uh, we have identified two promising practices. At first we had more, but these were the, the most promising. Uh, the first one is uh, non-formal promotion of uh, science and education. Uh, is it, can you? Yeah, this one, thank you. Uh, so uh, this is non-formal promotion of science and education. It's a project by, uh, carried out by a uh, host of experiments, uh, which is the first national center of science uh, of the type do-it-yourself in Slovenia uh, and has uh, a variety of uh, different activities. They organize also a science festival in different thematics uh, each year and they have around 25,000 uh, visitors, which is a lot for Slovenia. Slovenia have only, has only two million inhabitants uh, altogether, so each year. And the second one uh, is uh, a different kind of project. This is a project which is carried out by um, uh, our hub members, Slovenian Research Agency. And it's like a systemic project uh, which aim is, is to improve the framework conditions for science communication at the national level. Uh, and it aims to increase competences of journalists and uh, sci uh, for the science related reporting and also to increase the competences of public relations specialists uh, in research organizations on how to communicate scientific uh, results. So uh, all the informations are also on, available on the website of the both institutions, which will be published. But I would like to ask Katerina now to, to present the platform. Thank you. Okay, uh, regarding the recent trends in Austria and Slovenia, uh, last autumn, um, the most relevant research and development stakeholders, including ZSI, established the Austrian RRI platform. Um, and currently they are writing a pamphlet containing the RRI narratives in order to better understand the concept as a whole uh, and with all its different aspects. And also the collection of the promising practices will feed this better understanding. In Slovenia, also the Slovenian RRI platform will be established according to the Austrian example and the coordinator will be the Slovenian Research Agency. Thank you. 